Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important and very conceptual problem from differentiability of functions, right? So here uh, we have a function f of x is equal to mod of x minus 1 plus mod of x plus 2 and we have to examine this function uh, for its differentiability at this point x is equal to 3, right? So here uh, what we will do uh, to test the uh, differentiability of this function, uh, we'll find out the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative at x is equal to 3, right? And if the right hand derivative and left hand derivative both coincide, then we can claim that uh, the function is uh, differentiable at x is equal to 3 right and if the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative uh, does not exist or they are not equal then we can claim that the function is not differentiable at this point x is equal to 3 right so let us uh, start and let us first find uh, the right hand derivative right so the definition of right hand derivative at x is equal to 3 is given by uh, this limit that is the limit h tends to 0 and we have f of a plus h minus f of h uh, here we have f of a and divided by h right so this is the definition of right hand derivative and here this point a is uh, 3 and h is a positive quantity and uh, uh, it tends to 0, right? So here uh, we can now write the right hand derivative as the limit h tends to 0 and we have f of 3 plus h, right? Because a is a 3, right? And we have f of 3 uh, divided by h, right? So now uh, let us first find the value of the function at x is equal to 3 or a is equal to 3, right? Because this value is required uh, when we find the right hand derivative as well as the left hand derivative, right? So let us find out the value of f of 3 and we have mod of 3 minus 1 and then we have mod of 3 plus 2, right? So here we'll take x is equal to 3. So now we have 3 minus 1 is 2, so mod of 2 plus mod of 5, that is 2 plus 5, that is 7, right? So the value of the function at x is equal to 3 or a is equal to 3 is 7, right? So now uh, we can write limit h tends to 0, f of 3 plus h can be obtained by taking x is equal to 3 plus h in this function right so we have mod of 3 plus h minus 1 and then we have mod of 3 plus h plus 2 and f of 3 is 7 right and divided by h right now let us simplify this expression so we have here mod of 3 minus uh, 3 plus h minus 1 so this is 3 minus 1 is 2 and uh, here we have uh, plus h and then we have uh, 3 plus 2 is 5 so we have 5 plus h and here we have minus 7 and uh, uh, we divide it by h right now see here we have mod of 2 plus h right so we cannot directly substitute h is equal to 0 here so what we will do mod of 2 plus h so by definition of greatest integer, uh, the absolute value function, uh, C, uh, mod of, uh, say, y is equal to uh, positive y whenever y is greater than 0, right? And mod of y is equal to 0 whenever y is equal to 0. And mod of y is uh, uh, equal to uh, minus y whenever y is less than 0, right? So here we have mod of 2 plus h right and uh, we see that uh, this 2 plus h is a positive quantity because h is a positive quantity right so 2 plus h is positive so we can simply write mod of 2 plus h as 2 plus h so this is a very important point here right and similarly 
mod of 5 plus h right so 5 plus h is again a positive quantity so we'll uh, use this part of the definition that is mod of 5 plus h is positive of 5 plus h right okay so now we have limit h tends to 0 mod of 2 plus h is simply 2 plus h here we have 5 plus h and here we have minus 7 divided by h right now uh, let us simplify this expression so we have limit h tends to 0 5 plus 2 is 7 h plus h is 2 h and this is minus 7 divided by h right now 7 and minus 7 get cancelled so we are left with the limit h tends to 0 and we have 2 h over h right now this h and this h get cancelled so we are left with uh, that is the limit h tends to 0 2 that is equal to 2 right so the right hand derivative of this function at x is equal to 3 is equal to 2 right so we have obtained the value of right hand derivative is equal to 2 right now let us find out the left hand derivative so the left hand derivative is defined by this limit that is limit h tends to 0 we have f of a minus h minus f of a uh, divided by minus h right and here a is 3 and h is a positive quantity and it tends to 0 right so we have limit h tends to 0 f of a minus h so we can now write here 3 minus h and here we have f of 3 uh, divided by minus h right okay now we have limit h tends to 0 f of 3 minus h can be obtained by replacing x by 3 minus h in this function right so we have mod of 3 minus h minus 1 plus mod of 3 minus h plus 2 and here f of 3 is 7 right so here we have 7 divided by minus h now let us simplify it so we have limit h tends to 0 and 3 minus 1 is 2 so we have mod of 2 minus h right and here we have 3 plus 2 5 so we have 5 minus h mod of 5 minus h and here we have minus 7 divided by minus h now to simplify this limit again we'll uh, take help of the definition of mod function right see here we have mod of 2 minus h right see here we have to calculate the limit when h tends to 0 now here we cannot directly substitute h is equal to 0 although we'll get the same result uh, when we apply the uh, uh, definition of mod function right but here uh, we have to be very precise and uh, uh, we have to go by some uh, mathematical rules so mod of 2 minus h see 2 minus h because h is a, a very small quantity so 2 minus h is a positive quantity so mod of 2 minus h is positive 2 minus h right and mod of uh, 5 minus h is positive 5 minus h because uh, 5 minus h is again uh, greater than 0 right and 2 minus h is also greater than uh, 0 so now uh, we will write limit h tends to 0 here we can write 2 minus h simply and here we have 5 minus h and here we have minus 7 divided by minus h so this is limit h tends to 0 5 plus 2 is 7 and minus h minus h is minus 2h right and here we have minus 7 and divided by minus h right so this 7 and this minus 7 get cancelled so we are left with limit h tends to 0 minus 2h upon minus h minus h and minus h get cancelled so again uh, we get the same limit that is here we have 2 that is equal to 2 right so the uh, left hand derivative is given by 2 right 
So viewers, uh, here we have seen that the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative both are finite, right? Both are finite and they are uh, both are equal to 2, right? So the right hand derivative is equal to left hand derivative and uh, uh, we can now claim that uh, this function f of x it is uh, differentiable at a is equal to 3 right or we can uh, write x is equal to 3 right so the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative both are equal and finite hence we can claim that the given function is differentiable at uh, a is equal to 3 or x is equal to 3 now here I would like to uh, mention one important thing that is uh, if we wish to find out uh, at which points uh, this function is not differentiable right so see here we have mod of x minus 1 so inside the uh, mod symbol or the absolute value function symbol we have x minus 1 so if we take x minus 1 is equal to 0 then we have x is equal to 1 right so at x is equal to 1 uh, this function is not differentiable similarly here we have mod of x plus 2 so inside the mod symbol uh, we have x plus 2 so if we equate x plus 2 is equal to 0 then we have x is equal to minus 2 right so this function is not differentiable at x is equal to minus 2 right so if we summarize this uh, discussion then we can say that uh, this function f of x is not differentiable at x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 2 right and all other points except 1 and minus 2 this function is differentiable right as we have seen in the case of x is equal to 3 because x is equal to 3 uh, we uh, we have x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 2 as the points of non-differentiability and x is equal to 3 is the point of differentiability.